welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello how the heck are you my name is Tandy thank you so much for tuning into this video you already know what time it is we finna react to some TikToks about patriarchy and feminism so if that sounds like something that you interested in just keep on watching all right let's get it first of all we need to dissect what exactly is the patriarchy feminism now for context I want to first start by breaking this topic down in the simplest of forms so let's get a couple definitions Okay. So the patriarchy is like a man having his boot on a woman's neck. Feminism is women asking that the boot be removed. Men's rights activists think that having to take their boot off a woman's neck is some sort of reverse oppression. Conservatives figure that there was never a problem with the boot being on the neck until the woman started complaining about it. And if everybody would just shut up, things would be fine. Good guys take any complaint about the boot as a personal attack because not all men wear boots. Male allies try to discuss the issue in a way without alienating the boot. Women with internalized misogyny don't know why these other women are complaining about the boot on their neck. They love having the boot on their neck, and there's something wrong with the women who complain. Meanwhile, the boot stays on the neck okay now that we have a clear understanding of what it is that these terms mean and and what defines these people who continue this conversation of dismantle the patriarchy now <laughs> now we can get into the more toxic takes of this video which I know that's what you came for. And by toxic takes, I mean, why is it that women are so upset with the patriarchy? Why is that? Well, I think this next video can kind of put things into perspective. If that was something that you were curious to know. Women can never hate men as much as they hate women. This is because women hate men in response to how men have treated us as if we're subhuman, as if we're objects that they can toy with. Whereas men hate women because they have been indoctrinated by patriarchy to see us as subhuman, as objects, as things that are just meant to care for them and to bear children. And then men have the audacity to be upset with women for misandry and for being feminist and for fighting for our rights when we wouldn't have to do that if it wasn't for you and your patriarchal beliefs and systems. Especially within the black community, we say that feminism and women wanting to be strong and independent and not needing a man is divisive. It's divisive within the black community, but what's really divisive is patriarchy and misogynoir. If we weren't treated as subhumans, we would have no reason to hate men and to fight for ourselves. So if you really want to solve the divisiveness within the black community or between men and women in general, take out patriarchy. Take out the unequal systems of oppression. There are definitely systems put in place for all of us to behave accordingly. There are systems I am shocked that men can even deny are in place that oppress women. But those quote unquote punishments or those rules are really more geared towards women and how, you know, we should behave and how we shouldn't behave. And I think that these systems that are in place, you know, they enrage a lot of women. But being an angry woman does not benefit us in a said patriarchy and i think this next video is going to kind of piggyback off of that so let's see why is it that frustration and anger is demonized in women but a man's frustration and anger is absolutely acceptable i think one of the lesser discussed reasons for this is a man's emotions are viewed as valid whereas a woman's emotions are viewed as frivolous dramatic hysterical reactionary we take male anger seriously. Wait until your dad gets home. But a woman's anger is due to bitterness, over-assertiveness. An angry woman is acting crazy. A man's anger is righteous. Something must have made him mad. What made him mad? Whereas a woman's anger is questioned. Why are you so angry? Calm down, lady. What a bitch. A man expressing anger is assumed to have a valid reason, but a woman expressing her anger is just trying to make trouble, is a pain in the ass, is picking a fight. See, this is the thing. It isn't just that men feel safe only expressing anger as an emotion. It's also that their anger is taken more seriously. A woman's anger is very rarely taken seriously. And I want to piggyback off of what she's saying because I think living in said patriarchy, it's quote unquote ran by men. So, of course, if the man is at the top of the food chain, so to speak, you don't want to see that person with all the power get upset, right? It puts the rules in place for women to, you know, be these 
submissive, docile creatures. And to a certain extent, my own personal belief is that yes, women are naturally docile and submissive when we feel safe though. And I think that is where a lot of men, even some women, but misses the mark, you know, because where people are missing the mark is that a woman would be that submissive and docile if we had the freedoms and liberties to be those freedoms and liberties that we're looking for will create a safe environment and when women are in safe environments they can become docile submissive which is ultimately what men who are at the top of the food chain want right so why is it that they don't create a safe space for us i don't get it i don't get it <laughs> it's mocked invalidated we're more likely to be taken seriously when we cry because crying sadness is an emotion that makes men very uncomfortable. Look what you did. You made your mother cry or now you've upset your mother. As children, we're taught to fear our father's anger and our mother's pain. Why? Because men showing anger is setting a boundary that demands respect. A man demanding respect is acceptable, but women can only show pain or more specifically, the expression of grief, the grief we experience because we never get respect. But you know what, after listening to this video, it makes me think, do men really have it better in a patriarchal society? I think this next video will really shock you guys. This woman, she already had some kind of masculine features, like deeper voice, deeper whatever. She decided to be a man because she wanted to see how men were treated. Not sex change, an experiment. She ended up killing herself after like a year and a half of this because she said she was treated so horribly by women that she couldn't even believe that this is how men lived. Men are suffering. They have different problems than women have, but they don't have it better. And I was like, no way, but I can see it. I can see that you guys don't speak up. You don't say the things that we need to hear because you're, you want to love us. You want to support us. You want to be there for us, but you guys are supposed to be. You're supposed to be the strong one. Yeah. You're supposed to be these things. And yet we've been fighting to be your equal, fighting to be the alpha. And out of kindness, you guys are stepping back, but it's a losing war for both of us. Yeah. Wow. My condolences to the family of that woman. I really feel like she took on a tough role. And I say that with so much grace and empathy because I had a situation with a guy one time and he just one day cried in front of me. I didn't know how to react because again, living in this patriarchal society, how do we handle that? And it was just something so foreign to me to see. After, you know, a few seconds of just being in utter and complete shock, I remembered this man is still a human, you know, to still give him grace and show him the same love that I would expect for him to show me whenever I'm crying. Again, I had to remember at the end of the day that this man is a human. And if he is bearing his emotions to me, he's literally opening up to me. Is that not what us as women ask for like we ask for these men to you know be emotionally intelligent we talked about this in my last video so if a man is you know in tune with his emotions and communicating that with me i have to be able to show up in that moment because it is not often that a man is willing and able to do that we have to give these men grace out here because just like it's not easy for us living in this society that they created it's really not easy for them either. After the second wave of feminism, you know, after we got the right to vote, women just started acting crazy in my opinion. Like, you cannot be equal as a man. You just can't. And I know that's a very conservative way of thinking, but it's so true. Now, I am all for, you know, having rights, of course. Like, yes, women should be able to vote. Yes, a woman should be able to work and make her own money. Yes, a woman should be able to have the tools set places in society for her to take care of herself and her children because, you know, happens okay what if her husband you know passes on today or tomorrow and he didn't have all his ducks in a row now everything is on this widow i truly honestly believe that however i do not believe that we are equal 
y'all can fight me in the comments let me know down below how you feel about women being equal to men and if you are a man and you come across this video let us know in the comments what challenges do you face as a man i would love to hear from a much was pretty heavy but going back to what i was saying though like if men have it hard does that mean that women have it easier step forward if you agree with the prompt Women have it easier than they think they do. With feminism, it's kind of brainwashed women to think that they are victims in 99% of cases and all the disenfranchisement that they would claim in like colleges and careers. A lot of these careers are way easier to get into for women than they are for men because they're looking to hire women because of feminism. Yeah, like in divorce and stuff, they get more property, the kids' rights, all that. Yeah. But more so, I think that from the jump, actually have it easier. Like, yeah. men need to be a provider, they're taught to be tough. Oh, why are you crying? Don't be a girl. But when a girl is crying or a girl is upset or anything that happens, usually there's like a, they're a princess and they're, you know, they're given the world. Well, yeah, because with women, they're born with their value. They, they innately have value. They can create right. life and they're extremely valuable from birth. For men, right. it's not really the same way. You have to make something of yourself to be respected. Exactly. Like a pretty woman can go far just using her face a man can't do that. A man no. can't go to a rich businessman or, or like a businesswoman and be like, I'm, I'm good looking, let me come to your yacht. Right. A woman can. Right. Let's bring the disagreeers forward. Okay. <laughs> she said, bring the disagreeers forward. I'm stepping forward, okay? Because what? let's take his analogy, right? So if a woman can get on a yacht just because she's pretty, does that mean that, okay, she's on this yacht that now she can take care of herself? Because she has this, this prettiness, does that mean that she's able to use that as some form of currency? I mean, I know we live in a very shallow society right now, but in my opinion, I don't agree. Let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel? Do you feel like men have it easier in society or do you feel like women have it easier in society? I'm curious to know y'all's thoughts. So please comment down below if you've made it this far in the video. Let's see what else they have to say. I have a quick question. Just a second ago, you were saying that a pretty woman could go onto a rich man's yacht and that would be kind of her ticket on, yep. right? Okay, so did that help women vote at all, being pretty? But what does I, that have I, to do I'm, with the... I'm just asking, because okay. I mean, when we're talking about women's lives being better than they think they are, would you rather be pretty and be able to get on a yacht or have your liberties? What, what are we living in, like 1950s or 2022? Yeah. They women already have, have the, the right, right to, to vote. vote for a long time. I think something you specifically said shows to me why women don't have it easier. Okay, yes, 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 yes because that one sentence alone, I'm sorry for having to stop it, but that one sentence alone, what is this, the 1950s, they've been able to vote for a long time. No, that does not negate from the facts, okay? Facts are facts. And a woman being pretty does not give her any type of freedom or liberty. Does a man having a big eggplant mean that he's more wealthy? No, it doesn't. Like, do you see like how like stupid this sounds? It just sounds asinine. Let's finish though. I think it was you who said, women already have their value. Their value is already obvious because they can have mm -hmm. children. I don't want to put you into the box, but there are large amounts of men. Women are people that have children and then they raise the child and they be quiet. And I think- That is a problem. Not at all. I think what was really evident to me when both of y'all came up and talked was how indoctrinated into the patriarchy you mm -hmm. are, right? <laughs> you both come up and say, as men, we have to prove something. And those expectations that you put on yourself mm -hmm. is a direct result of patriarchy and the systems that feminism is trying to dismantle. So, as, are the value, married, as are the values that women have that when they were born that you're talking about, women did not create those. Right. Right. Men those, did. those are God Hold ordained. Uh, so, men and women are both equal under God and God. in value as human beings. In Genesis, you have a creation of both men and women. They're made in God's we're image. We're not about so to quote both... the Bible on like some yeah. feminist. Hold topic. on, but so, I mean, we so, can. We're operating in a country we, where there's a separation of church and back. state. You cannot use religion okay, as, right, as, right, as a motivation to make legislation. If I hear one more person use religion as a reason to not give rights to people, I'm probably going to fuck explode. People using their own personal ideologies as an excuse to implement legislation over other people's lives are simply just not okay with the fact that they can't control everything around them. 
okay? He said it, I ain't even got to say it. In Western society, we live in a space where you have to separate church and state. So if a woman wants to have an abortion or she wants to vote, whatever her prerogative is, that has nothing to do with your religion. It makes absolutely no sense in a place where literally the constitution says you have the freedom to choose any religion that you choose to believe in without fear of persecution, right? You want this power over people and honestly, it's given supremacy okay that's what it's given but you know to go back to the original question at hand was do men have it worse or do women really have it easier in the society that we live in and i think the conversation is so nuanced that they honestly didn't really get anywhere in that conversation with that being said let's check out this next video Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is defined as the belief in social, economic and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled Mantled. Through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for equality of outcome rather than opportunity, feminists are demonizing and emasculating men. We just gonna briefly talk about it because she literally just spewed everything that I've been saying throughout this video. Feminism is ruining masculinity. I really believe that. By all means, sis, live your life how you see fit. Do not take what I'm saying as this should be true for you. This is just my own personal belief, okay? You know what they say about opinions, okay? We all got them. Opinions are like booty holes. You got women who want to do everything on their own. I get it, but at the same time, I don't. You know, the older that I get personally, I feel like the more conservative I become. I ain't even gonna hold you. Oh my God, like, who am I? We aren't equal and we weren't made to be equal. Why would I, as a woman, want to take on more than I need to? No. I'm gonna let a man be a man, okay? Let that man take care of you, sis. Like, it's so cringy to me to see these women who wanna fight for equality when you'll never be equal to a man. Like, I will never be equal to a man. And that is a tough reality. I mean, it's not tough for me, but for some women, that is a tough reality to live in. Let's check out this last video, though, because it's actually gonna be from the same creator. She made a part two to her video. I made a video on why modern feminism in the West is a scam, and it went super viral. Within 24 hours, it was trending on BitChute, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, and garnered millions of views and comments. So why did this video strike a chord deep within the human psyche? Well, the truth resonates, but it also hurts. Even with an overwhelmingly positive response from both men and women, the angry victims of the Rockefeller indoctrination camps never fail to disappoint. With so many personal attacks and bare any intelligent counter arguments. Cancel culture at its finest. It's always girls support girls until they have a differing opinion. Open public discourse around these topics is paramount. That's how we learn and evolve as a species. We must step outside the mental programming designed to keep us in a constant state of fear and anger and see the elite social engineering for what it truly is. Our freedoms are being taken away without our consent. Our wealth is being extracted, centralized and given to corporate powers. It's not about men versus women, left versus right, or black versus white. We are all one. It's about rising up together against a corrupt system that wants to keep us distracted and pitted against each other so that they can maintain power. Rise up, warriors. You know who you are. 
and that's what this video is all about i just wanted to bring to light to you guys that this is all a plan of division by the higher up in my opinion they want men to become more docile more feminine and they want women to become more masculine so that way we can all you know be fighting against one another so then it gives them opportunity to come in and control control the masses right because if we can't control ourselves somebody's got to right look at the housing crisis like there are so many things going on right now food shortages food just being astronomically high with inflation going crazy right now like there are so many things that we should be worrying about that they're trying to distract us from once we all are able to get on one accord together and work as a unit as a collective it'll be better for everybody and do i think that that could ever happen i don't know if i'll see it in my lifetime but i definitely feel that there's a bigger picture here you know let's stop being so divisive when you help me i can help you and that is honestly something that we all need to take into consideration so i hope this video strikes up some conversation because honestly that's the only way to better ourselves in society so comment below your thoughts on this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the post notification bell so that you can be notified of my next one I hope to see you soon. Bye.